it is still hit and miss for our club here. And Barcelona certainly exposed us as the frauds that we are in the Spanish First Division. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode three of our journeyman save with our current club. This is club four. We are at Levante. Since last episode, we had a 3-2 win over Villarreal. Brian Ibanez with a hat trick in that one. Uh, we lost 1-0 to Oviedo and Barcelona. We just didn't belong on the same pitch with them, losing 5-1. And we did recover to beat Ibar 3-2, Antonio Gonzalez, Lamine Segoba, and Patrick Nanzik Nat Ness uh, with the goals in that one. We're going to have highlights against Alicante, and then we'll be playing Atletico Madrid on camera today. If you like what I'm doing here, please think about hitting that like button for me. Subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. And let's get into the match. Let's see the highlights. Let's roll the highlights. We're in the eighth minute. And Pavlik gets around Kovac, beats Pernan, and we find ourselves in an early 1-0 hole. And things were looking dire. In the 14th minute, Enrique crosses it in, and it's Garcia finding the equalizer for us. 1-1, and it would be that way until the 72nd minute. Navarro finds Mecca across to Martinez, who came on in the, in the 60th minute, and he puts us ahead 2-1. A corner near post falls to Martinez, and he puts in his second and gives us a 3-1 advantage. And then lining up on a penalty for his hat trick makes it 4-1 in the 88th minute. And we were not done. Gonzalez splits defenders into the box, beats the keeper. A one-man show there. Makes it Levante 5, uh, Alicante 1. And you can see 23 shots to 9 on mixed possession. And very, very good game. Three goals, two key passes, an 8.8 .8 rating for Martinez. He's only 19 years old. And mostly he's been off the bench, but he has looked really good in this match. Let's take a look at his form. One, two, three, four, five, and one. So this would be the first non-friendly, I think. Oh, no. The, what are those? Oh, he's just not played enough. So a 6-9, a 6-5, an 8-8. Eight, eight. Playing pretty well. Playing pretty well. Uh, let's finish out the day so we can see where we are sitting in the table. And that has climbed up to seventh position. We have played an extra game from a couple of teams. Barcelona has lost two matches at Real Madrid and Atletico Bilbao. And both of them are in the Champions League spots. Oviedo, who uh, beat us earlier. So we've got our cut, uh, work cut out for us. This is the clubs that you know we need to be beating, including Atletico Madrid, who we play in three days' time. Uh, we haven't had any new transfers, but I wanted to kind of let you guys get caught up with stats. Uh, I know I've had several of you guys tell me how much you appreciate that, and I appreciate it myself. So uh, Brian Ibanez with six goals, five goals in seven from Gonzalez. Uh, Inaki Martinez now with three in one game, three for Rafael Garcia, and a handful of guys with two goals apiece. Our leading assist man is Sagoba, the central midfielder, with seven to go with his two goals. Pablo Santin, uh, the attacking winger, and Roberto Mecca with four apiece. So the club's looking pretty solid right now. Taking a look at finances, we're coming into the end of the month. We have, uh, you know, we're actually losing money this month, mostly on salaries. But, uh, eh, you know, that's part of the game. We're sitting on $39 million, but let's get up to the match at hand today. All right, we're back for the kickoff. We're going with Pernan in goal, a back four of Navarro, Fernandez, Kovac, and Garay. A midfield of Santin and Segoba, Ivanez and Nadzik Ness on the wings, Enrique in the number 10, and Gonzalez up top. 
Let's see if we can get it done today. Everybody's still learning the tactic. You know, first season, still early doors. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the revenge factor. That always is good for motivation. Oh, man. So, a uh, big win for Leeds United today. 4-0 over Burnley. And that was good. Garai gets beaten on the outside. Copa Sial looks like he made the break there and put it over the net. Let's go ahead and encourage the boys this time. I really, you know, we're going with this tactic, but I just finished recording uh, earlier this morning uh, the week's episodes for Play the Kids, which if you haven't checked out, you should. And um, I just really do like the two-striker tactic. Oh, a little heel kick. Oh, the defender touched it, and it slid right into Gonzalez's path. He puts it into the top bin, and it's Levante 1, Atletico Madrid nil in the 24th minute. We are on the positive end of one of those plays for a change. So that is a good thing. Pretty evenly matched here in the goings on. Nadric Nas Ness heads it. Gets it headed clear. Not a bad entry ball, but nobody was on the end of it. And it's Samake on the outside with lots of space. And a good tackle. Oh, no, they got they called. They're going to go to VAR. I thought he had all ball on that. If they call a penalty, I think that's going to be harsh. And we'll be a little done by, but it's probably going to be a penalty. What's the decision? No penalty. I was right. Woo! I think that was the correct call. Now, the question is, did it go off of us? And I guess it doesn't matter. Kovac, our big man at the back. Garay lumps it ahead. A flick on header. Gonzalez controls it. Now, he holds it up and lets some players get ahead of him. Can't fight through the tackle. And a quick counter, and it's right into the hands of Pernan. And he has it coming right back the other way. Enrique picks it up around midfield. Drives up. There's Gonzalez. Back to Santine, who picks out the pass. And Ibanez has that deflected. I'm not even going to try that name. And we'll take the corner. And it's cleared away easily enough. Eight shots, four on target. Another corner for us. There's the header. Oh, and it just goes over the top corner of the goal. Would have been nice to have gotten one right there to go up two at the half, but it was not to be. Uh, let's go outstretched arms, pleased with how things are going. And we'll take the opening kickoff of the second half. Little bit of a heavy touch there by Enrique. And a little bit of a clumsy save by the keeper there. Luckily for him, nobody was attacking. Samake, oh my God, wide open, and Pernan gets sat down. He needed to make himself bigger there for sure. Big counterattack by Madrid and uh, Atletico Madrid, of course. And that equalizes in the 46th minute one minute into the second half i'm contemplating i'm contemplating going with another striker let's see what happens here garage deep in but the keeper's there all right let's see what i want to do all right we're going to move into the 424 move enrique from number 10 up into the striker spot but we're going to slide him back to a deep lying forward on support because that uh, allows him to be a little more involved in the link up and the passing. And um, he just can't finish. Gomez is through. Pernan with a big save there. Uh, let me check something else here. Yeah, I think everything looks good. I just wanted to make sure we weren't playing an offsides trap or anything with the change in tactic. 
that's headed clear. Let's demand more. Good block by Gonzalez there. All right, you know what? I am going to pull I'm going to pull Nass off. He's playing a 6-4. He's not looking very good. Let's pull him off for Rafael Garcia. Let's pull Can I put Ibanez up there? What's Ibanez's finishing? Yeah, he's a big finisher. Uh so let's move him up to the striker. Then we'll bring on Mecca and then Ibanez, we will make him another advanced forward on attack. Come on, boys. All right, here's Garay. Touches it up to Garcia. He dribbles inside. Segoba. Garay. Pick out a pass, fellas. There's a cross, a header. Mecca sends it high and wide for a goal kick. We need to do a little bit better. Let's demand more. Navarro. All right, we're back on the attack, midfield. No, that was not good. Not good. Hmm. We need to do a little bit better there. Oh, good interception by Garcia. Into Gonzalez. Oh, he's tackled in the box. Doesn't go down, though. Santine's on it. Ibanez. Gonzalez. There's a good pass in. It's Gonzalez. Oh, and he switches it to his left foot and slides it past the keeper. If he would have taken that with his right, I don't think he makes that. It's that one little touch from right to left. You got to watch that. That was a brilliant move there. Good one-touch pass. And he just took the left foot and moved it from the inside to the outside and was able to slide that home. And we're up 2-0. And we come right back to a kickoff highlight. No. <laughs> no. Don't let him do it. Don't let him. No. And Pernan lays out, but it's Mallet with his third of the season to equalize again. Oh. I was worried about that when we came back with the kickoff highlight. Oh, that's just brutal, brutal. All right, who is tired here? Kovac is tired. Navarro's tired. Let's bring Santos on for him. Let's demand more. I mean, all in all, it's still been a very good game, right? You can't say it hasn't been. Mecca, good first touch. Slides it into Ibanez, and he fronts the keeper and gets his seventh of the season. All right, let's go in here, and we are going to play for set pieces. We're going to lower our tempo just a little bit, slow the pace down, confirm those changes. And we are nursing a 3-2 lead with five minutes left in regulation. How much stoppage time will there be? Five minutes, and it's their highlight. Crossed in. Headed out. We've got a counter opportunity. Garcia. It's three on two. He splits the middle, oh, and he can't beat the keeper. He should have done a dinkage there. Oh, that was our chance to salt this away. Mecca on the corner. Come on. Oh, they are. Ooh, yeah, there you go. There's that slow play up, right? Kovac gets the head on it, but it goes high. We've got five minutes of stoppage time. Oh, and we come right back for the goal kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a couple of really good defensive headers there. Through ball to Gonzalez. He's down to the touchline. He's taken down hard in the box. No foul. No foul given. Counter opportunity here. Santine gets beaten. Santos collapses on the outside. And it's cleared away. Very good job. Ibanez on the ball. Reverse field to Mecca. Play it through. No, he takes a crack from range. All right. 
They're on the attack again. Oh, no. Fran with his first goal of the season to equalize two minutes into stoppage time. Oh, come on. And we are going to have to settle for a 3-3 draw. I mean, I pulled back defensively. I did everything I could there. Oh, that's just that's just heart-wrenching. Gonzalez, player of the match. You know what? I'm going to hands together. I'm going to say unlucky. Demotivated. Well, you know, that's okay. So let's finish out the day and see where everybody stands. All right, that's the end of the day. We've climbed into Europe. Uh, sixth position. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Is that... Um, so champion. So that would be Euro Cup and Euro Cup 2. All right, so I can live with that. Euro Cup, first year here. I would be happy with that. But uh, yeah, we need to do a little bit better. A little bit better. Gonzalez with a great performance. You were superb. And so we played Gijon or Gijon last season with uh, Leicester. Let's come back for that. Uh, we'll come back for Gijon highlights and Espanol. Uh, we'll play them at home. And let's see, home, how are we doing? 25, 26,000. What is our capacity? 26,354. All right, so we sold that one out. We sold that one out. So we've sold out two out of three. Laganas, we did not. But, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We didn't sell that one out. So we certainly don't need a 60,000-seat stadium then if we're not selling out every match. But it'd be nice to be able to get a few more tickets for revenue. And we're down to $38.8 million in the bank. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, hit that like button for me. Subscribe for Daily Football Manager content. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.